past couple of years, sprayers have become a big thing in managing clean and healthy uh, spaces in our work, our homes, and all areas of the built environment. And today we have our dear friend and subject matter expert, Mark Warner here. He's going to be doing a great module on discussing all the different sprayers available to us, their applications, the pros and cons, and how to use them right. Mark, do you have a favorite sprayer? <laughs> yes. Really? And it's completely contingent on the surface that I'm applying it to, the soil type, and what I'm trying to accomplish. In other words, each sprayer excels in the area it was designed to excel in, and it will fail in areas if used in areas that it wasn't designed to work in. So I have a favorite for each individual surface, and every sprayer we have is my favorite for its specific. And we're going to be able to learn more about that in our module, right? In theory, if I uh, <laughs> pull that all together. I it. think you can. You've never let us down before. Now, I remember part of why I was so excited for you to do this module with us is that you amazed me in explaining electrostatic sprayers, not to spoil this show, but give us a little uh, glimpse into what some misconceptions about electric static sprayers that are out there. Misconceptions. All right, so electrostatic spraying has been around a long time. We've used it to paint cars. And the way you use it to paint a car is you put a ground cord on the car, on the metal, and then you run an electric charge to the paint. And when you spray it, it wraps around pieces of that car that aren't in the direct line of sight from the sprayer. It's done by literally electronic magnetism. Well, that's how we're trying to do disinfection. You can't necessarily hit every surface through direct line of sight. So an electrostatic sprayer is designed to actually create a wrap around. Think about spraying downward onto a chair rail. Mm -hmm. You know, you put your arm on there. Well, you spray down on it, you haven't hit the underside of it. Where are your fingers touching when you go to stand up? The underside of it, yeah. right? You think about a uh, door latch. You're spraying at the door latch, you're not getting the back side, which is exactly the point of contact that your fingertips touch when you're using it. So the idea behind electrostatic is to go after areas or shadow zones that were traditionally missed with pressurized or trigger sprayers. Um, with that said, pros and cons. Um, one of the things that makes that work with an electric electrostatic sprayer is that it's grounded via power cord to the ground in the outlet. And that helps create that complete circuit. Uh, the challenge has always been, how do we get that if we're working with a cordless unit? Where's the ground coming from? So battery powered units have struggled with different ways to create that completed circuit. Whether it's adding a uh, ground plate which would be made of copper that's mounted to a shoe with a cord to a belt that connects to the sprayer or whether there's enough charge that can be built into that sprayer to overcome the shortfall of not having the other surface you're spraying negatively charged. As, as technicians and making decisions on our equipment uh, acquisitions, the products we're using, the techniques, and what our objectives are that we know what we're doing with this stuff. So my favorite way to look at this, Lisa, is uh, there's about 5 million people in the world that are involved with the cleaning industry, and they call themselves professionals. And yet, on a worldwide level, less than a quarter million of them are actually documented as trained and skilled in the arts and sciences of cleaning and disinfection. And that becomes our mission. Yeah. Our mission is to expand that body of knowledge so that more than 5% of the people involved with professional cleaning and disinfection are documented as skilled and trained in the arts and sciences of it. The end game on this. Mm -hmm. So the end game isn't that we couldn't do that stuff before, but right. it took a lot, of, a lot of extra time and labor, right? So I can certainly disinfect the backside, underside of a chair, or uh, the arm of a chair. I can certainly hand disinfect the backside of a doorknob. Mm -hmm. So the idea behind electrostatic sprayers isn't that it's doing things that couldn't be done before. The idea behind it is that it can do it as effectively yet more efficiently than the way we did it in the past, which then becomes a game changer. Yes. Suddenly it becomes a labor saver and the ability to go after larger square footage of areas 
uh, than we ever could before using slower manual techniques. So the point is we didn't not do it right in the past. We just have the advent of new technology to make us more efficient. And I'm so glad you brought that up because that's what a lot of the training, it's not about, qual it's a, it is about quality, it's about knowledge, process, but ultimately, the more we train, we also have the opportunity to become more efficient, become more exposed to the tools and equipment, yep. techniques that allow us to do that. So This is fun, Lisa. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, spray war. No, just kidding. We don't <laughs> spray each other in spray wars. Thank you, Mark, for being here today, and we're super excited to see your uh, My pleasure.